use Aurora HDR as a plugin, you'll need to install it first. With Aurora HDR launched, you'll need to make sure you have a project file open. You can open up a single image or use a recent project file that you were working with. Then, from the Aurora HDR menu or the File menu, just choose Install Plugins. It'll scan your system to see what's installed. You can then click the Install button and enter your system administrator password. If you're installing on Mac, you'll be able to install into Photoshop, Lightroom Classic, Photoshop Elements, and Aperture. If you're a Windows user, you'll be able to install into Photoshop and Lightroom Classic. When you're all done, just click the Done button and the plugins are activated. All right, now that we've got the plugins activated, let's explore how to actually create the HDR files.